Beloved actor Keanu Reeves was the voice of the crazy Canuck stunt toy Duke Kaboom in Toy Story 4. But we're sure you already knew that because Keanu is the internet's best friend who's been the star of every meme known to man recently. He's just breathtaking! But did you know the part was originally going to be much smaller? Keanu had to go and kaboom the role into one of the highlights of the entire movie, and it just wouldn't have been the same without the Maple Leaf donning stuntman. Let's take a look at the over-the-top character of Duke Kaboom and talk about some things you might not have noticed in the movie. So strike a pose because we've got a city to burn. Toy Story 4 was missing the heart-tugging elements and high stakes that made the previous entries in the franchise so compelling. But it did have one thing the previous three movies did not have, and that's Duke Kaboom. It probably won't shock you to learn that Duke Kaboom is based on the famous stuntman Evil Knievel. This motorcycle legend set world records for his crazy stunts and was always clad in bold red, white, and blue colors. He was clearly the fashion inspiration for Duke Kaboom, but let's not underestimate Keanu Reeves' influence here. Although he was born in Beirut, he spent most of his childhood years living in Canada. He's also a huge fan of motorcycles and even co-founded a custom motorcycle business called Arch Motorcycle Company. Clearly, Keanu was the perfect pick for the project, and to say he was passionate about the job is an understatement. According to producer Jonas Rivera and director Josh Cooley, Duke Kaboom was originally going to have a much smaller part in Toy Story 4. He was pretty much a one-off side character until Keanu appeared to save the day. Apparently, the folks at Pixar didn't really know how much Keanu loved the Toy Story franchise or motorcycles for that matter, but they soon learned when they sat down with him to discuss the part. Even prior to Keanu joining the cast, the plan was always for Duke Kaboom to be a Canadian motorcyclist toy. The fact was that stars happened to align with Keanu and their casting choice and was just a happy accident. Keanu was full of questions about Kaboom's personality and his feelings towards his former kid. These were things the crew hadn't considered based on Duke Kaboom's limited role in the movie, but the more they thought about it, the more they came to care for the character. And come on, how can you not love Duke Kaboom and his awesome poses? Apparently, when Keanu was practicing all the sounds Duke Kaboom makes, he actually started posing right there in the studio. Oh man, we wish there was footage of that. Rivera offered to have the Kaboom cycle redesigned to look like one of Keanu's own bikes. But Keanu simply wouldn't hear of it. He insisted that Kaboom get his very own bike suited to his character. Now, Keanu Reeves might be absolutely perfect and beyond reproach, but so few people or even characters are. During an interview, Keanu was asked to comment on the fact that while Duke Kaboom sometimes displays a ton of confidence, he can also be a crybaby from time to time. Kind of a weird thing to accuse a character in a movie about when pretty much everyone in the audience should A-tier at one point while watching it, but Keanu knows there's nothing wrong with expressing your emotions, whether you're a toy motorcyclist or a grown adult watching a Toy Story movie. Keanu pointed out that all of us have a variety of different emotions, and just because we may feel sad sometimes doesn't mean we can't also feel confident. He said that Duke Kaboom has a big heart and does his best to be brave despite his personal foibles. Keanu was even generous enough to say there's a bit of Duke Kaboom in all of us, even though most of us can't do any sick motorcycle jumps. Toy Story 4 is only Keanu's third time doing an animated movie, the first two being the televised adaptation of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and The Animatrix. It's also only his second time being in a Disney movie after he appeared in Young Again all the way back in 1986. According to Keanu, he had a great time doing the comedic role of Duke Kaboom and would be open to more of this kind of work in the future. We can only hope. Although audiences all over the world love Duke Kaboom, we know that his kid did not. He was sorely disappointed that his Duke Kaboom toy wasn't capable of the gravity-defying stunts he saw in the TV commercials. And frankly, that's a feeling most of us can relate to. It's hard to read the tiny font at the bottom of the screen claiming it's a dramatization, and the toy won't nearly be as cool once you actually bring it home. This was also a specific issue with toys based on Evil Knievel. The real Evil Knievel could jump over 19 cars, but the toys, well, they weren't quite as good. His kid might have rejected Duke Kaboom, but at least one other child in the potentially shared Pixar universe is a fan. Did you happen to catch a glimpse of our favorite Canadian stuntman in the movie Incredibles 2? If you missed it, don't feel bad, since you might have been mid-blink during the brief time he was on screen. When we saw little Jack-Jack in his crib, we noticed a toy which we now realize is Duke Kaboom. We'd think he wouldn't be a safe toy for a kid Jack-Jack's age, but maybe the rules are different for super babies. There was also another easter egg involving Duke Kaboom, but you might have missed it if you ran off before the credits were through. You might have noticed the lack of a short prior to the start of the movie, which was disappointing to many fans. After all, this had been a tradition in Pixar movies since the very first Toy Story movie all the way back in 1995. 
yeah, does that make you feel old or what? But although we didn't get a short, we did get a few mid-credit scenes, including one starring Ducky, Bunny, and Duke Kaboom. Ducky and Bunny are regaling Kaboom with one of their revenge fantasies, but this one involves the addition of laser eyes. Upon being assured that Bunny does indeed have laser eyes, Kaboom says, Whoa, in the same tone as that iconic moment from The Matrix. Well, what did you think of Toy Story 4 and the inimitable Duke Kaboom? Are you hoping for a Toy Story 5 or are you content saying goodbye to this classic series? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below and then click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at CBR. Bye for now.